So, we need 100 bucks out of this. There's none up there. That could be a good waste of time. Well, might as well, might as well ice them anyway, right? Stupid robot. Don't turn around and get smacked in the skull, you idiot bot. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here. I'm back in your life, and back in your life today with a game that I have been loving lately. This is The Swindle, a steampunk cybercrime caper, and I wasn't sure I was going to play it on the channel, but I've actually done uh, quite a few streams of it now. I thought it was a really fun game for streaming, and uh, I just wanted to uh, make sure the people who weren't only watching the YouTube stuff and weren't checking me out on Twitch didn't miss out entirely on this very cool game. So it's sort of a... You know what? Let's just do it. Let's go continue. Let's go new game. Yeah, I'll start you guys from the beginning. So, London, 1849. No funny accents. In 100 days, Scotland Yard will activate their breakthrough artificial intelligence technology, codenamed the Devil's Basilisk. Its surveillance capabilities will be total. If the project is completed, your career as a master burglar will be untenable. It'll be over. Done. Steal it before that can happen. Steal the thing that's made to prevent stealing. You have 100 days. That's right. So it's steampunk. It's London. In the background, you see our airship. You also see like parts of Victorian London merged with modern London. Uh, so this is our first thief, Henry Beresford. This is where we buy skills, but there's no point because we ain't got any money. So we take our pod down from our blimp into the slums we slam dunk this mother and i'll show you guys exactly how this game is played now i am not good in fact i think i'm bad uh i just learned after like 11 attempts that you pretty much need to unlock every skill in the game uh, which includes like double junk jumping and most importantly hack ability uh to win the game and i had not even come anywhere close so i've no never been close to beating this game so that down there is a computer but we don't have the ability to hack it, so I need to sneak in here. Oh, Henry Beresford, every time I play as him, he's a gentleman thief. He always closes the door behind him. Open that door, smack the stupid robot, and say, see? By the hack skill. It costs 100 bucks. So, we need 100 bucks out of this. There's none up there. That could be a good waste of time. We well, might as well, might as well ice him anyway, right? Stupid robot. Don't turn around and get smacked in the skull, you idiot bot. And... The other amazing thing, guys, these levels are all procedurally generated. Oh, that's a waste of time. So see, I can't even get all the money in this level without bombs. The brilliant thing is that it makes levels that are unbeatable. Levels that you can... places you can climb into that you can't escape from. Like, it might be entirely possible there's no way up from where I am right now. Dang, I've made a hundred bucks that first day before, and we're not going to do it this time. Unless, I think this is safe. Am I safe here? I'm gonna jump over and bash him in his little stupid robo skull, you idiot bot. Yes, get smashed. Alright, geeks. Oh man, another computer. This would have been a hell of a score. Okay, drop down. Smack this one. Uh. Oh, yes. Okay, god. Thank god. That thing, okay. So, what makes this good, where a lot of stealth games fail, guys, is... That you don't have to worry about cameras or respawns or having to move corpses by making these robots you remain a burglar so you, you are supposedly non-violent and this is the end of this level we got to go back up and over all oh, right gentleman thief close the door close the door gentleman thief so i'm just going to show you guys the first couple levels the first couple achievements and um just give you a taste of it i still don't think it's going to be a series we'll call this uh, a, a first look um, but, oh man, we're 12 bucks short. God dang it. How close could we have become? Let's get it. Okay, so, we would normally go return to airship if we had the cash, but we don't. So let's do another heist. I'll show off my skills as a cat burglar. There's some free money. So, a wise man would leave right now. That's what a wise man would do. You see any wires, man? I don't even want to worry about killing that fool. Yes. Oh, look at him. Spider-Man, this mofo, right in the back of the skull. Yes, baby. Oh, we are going to do some serious damage. 
I kind of have to kill that guy, don't I? He's just going to be so annoying otherwise. Oh, I can't get up there. Yes, I can. Oh, but it was a bad idea. Turn, get him. No, he got me. Like I said, wise men leave. This game is not about how much money can you steal. This game is about how greedy of a person you are. See, procedurally generated thief. That is Lulu Phillips, and she is a looker. All right, we still just need a couple hundred bucks. Or, oh, yeah, we're good. Guys, what do we do? Do we go for more money? I kind of want to go for more money. I mean, we might as well clean them out, right? You only have 100 days. Your time as a thief is almost over. You might as well be a true boss and just go for it. Get smacked. Close the door behind me. Oh, yes. Call this greed. I call it skill. Skill and determination. And grace. Courage under fire. That's it. Clean the place out. We're done here. Just one guy to kill. Oh, and look, you're right here on time. If I had bombs, I could break through to the lower levels. But, see, this is why you don't leave, guys. Man, we're making more money than we should. Feels like we're making way more than we should. I didn't, I thought it was little bundles of eight bucks. I didn't collect that much. So, return to airship. We will unlock hacking, right? Uh, which is under abilities, it's the first one. Oh, they've actually blacked it out now in the latest update. Used to have access to other things. But this is really the only one that makes sense. Unless you're cool with making 100 bucks a heist, let's go see the kind of money old Lulu Phillips can dig out of the slums now that she's got the hack skill, the hack job. Let's do this thing, okay? There's some money. Yeah, but this is old money. I'm not interested in paper money. I am here. I am here for the big money, the electronic funds transfers, right? This may be Victorian England, but it's sci-fi Victorian England, mother effa. And you better respect that hacking is a true ability. Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, we did it! Yes! Oh, what a boss. Okay, now we must go up and over and search. All right, Lulu, I know you don't look like a gentleman. Well, you kind of do. Oh. But you close the door behind you. That's how we do it here at Unite the Clans Thieving Inc. I don't like this, but this feels like a way in. Get him! Oh, that was close. Oh, I don't like this level at all, guys. I feel like, but where's the computers? The, why make the computers so hard to find? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, see? I like that. I like that I don't have to worry about where he's going to be. Yes, take the money and run. I the, Every live stream I've done, I think I've sang Steve Miller Band. See, I can't get back up from there. Okay, I can get up the other way, though. No point in going down there, I think. Okay, so. All right. I'm going to be an ingenious man here. Oh, look at their timing. It's so timed out. Okay. I haven't even found a computer yet. I care not for this woman's life. Let's charge. Yes, get smacked. No, he got me. Lulu Phillips is dead. Say hello to Columbus Steam Porter. Yep. That's the man's name. Don't make fun of it for a split second. Take that money. Take that money. Leave these two mother effos to just get smacked upside the skull with a billy club. You freaking robo cops or robo idiot cops. There's some money. There's some money for Unite the Clans, but that's also a spike pit. And I hate spike pits. Oh, come on. Get him! Yes! Okay. I'm going to go for the other computer first, because there we go. Yes. Okay. This is getting hard already. Get this man! I'll take this money, and I'll do this. And guys, now you get to see the police come. The police will show up. Get wrecked, double wrecked, hack this money. And the money is slowly disappearing because I've set off the alarm. Yeah, the police will come, and they will mess me up. They will mess me up like you've never seen before. They're nigh on invincible. The guys are the guys are deadly. Destructive. Okay, drop down. And there's also fall damage. Run. 
Uh, I'll close the door behind you. I know you're not a gentleman, but good lord. Let's get out of here. Oh. <clears throat> Guys, we made a tight escape there. Uh, I wanted to keep this just a short little first look at this game. There are the cops now. The game, of course, is The Swindle. Uh, we, you are heist men. Good lord, turn down the sirens. So, geeks, I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, I know we uh, are just kind of finishing mid-game, but it, every run is like three to four hours if you're going to make a serious run at the end of the game, the Devil's Basilisk. I've had a blast playing it so far. I'm going to give you a link to a little playlist of the live streams over on Unite the Clans Live, so you can go check those out if you're interested. Um, but this is the swindle. I uh, wanted to show it to you guys. Just going to do the one video on it, I think. But it's super neat. I would recommend you guys check it out. The developer was nice enough to hook old United you know, Clans up with a copy of it uh, to play and review. And uh, that's it, guys. Geeks, thank you for watching this first look at the swindle. I am United Clans. I will see you, geeks, in my next video.